One of the most useful models in Python is the random model, which you can add up to your script. Now, the random model is used extensively in different applications, starting from cryptography, gaming, artificial intelligence, and so on. So let's look at the random model through some examples. The very first thing that you will need to do is to import the random model. And the next thing that we will do is to actually generate a number from a range. So we will do it using a variable. And in that variable, we will use the random.rendit. Int is for integers. And we will set up the range. And the range will be 4 up to 99. So now let's print the n variable and let's see the result all right the first number is 95 the second is 70 and so on you can play around with it and it will generate a random number from the range that we have specified all right now let's just uh, spice this script using an input so let's input uh, something like um, guess a number and let's use the if statement if guess equals to n then print great all right that's the very basic so let's just guess a number five it's not equal so we will not see anything so let's use the else so let's just else print try again all right so let's run that again guess a number and six try again since we generated the number 38. All right, now the first print command should actually be here before the if. So let's run that again. Use five again and 97 was the result and try again. Up until now, we have actually played with numbers, but it is not limited to numbers. We can use the random dot choice to actually choose a specific character a specific string from a list of strings so let's uh, open up a new REPL let's use Python and let's um, use the choose uh, names all right and let's create our REPL again let's import the random model and it is quite simple. Let's just add up a variable, a list, sorry, a list of different names. Let's just add up John and let's add up Linda and Smith. All right. Now, the next thing that we will do is to add up a variable which will contain the random dot choice. And our choice is actually our list. All right, so let's print our choice, which is chosen. And let's run that. Sorry for that. There we have it. There we have it. And here we can actually run our script and each time it will generate a different name from the list. It seems that John and Linda are the favorite random strings.